morning and welcome to this morning's reflection. You know, quite often in scripture we read the verse, do not be afraid. And yet I know that for many of us, fear is an ever-present element within our lives. And I wonder if that is true of you. Are you afraid? And I think you'll probably answer yes. It seems to me that fear is a constant presence in our lives. I think it waxes and wanes, but it always seems to be lurking in the background. There seem to be many things we fear. In this country, we have an approaching election, and this causes us to fear. What will happen as a result of that election? We're afraid of the uncertainty that surrounds the election. We fear illness. We fear insecurity. We fear violence. We fear failure. We fear death. If you spend a lot of time watching the news or listening to social media, you'll find that fear tends to be increased by those experiences. But sometimes I wonder if our fear does not stem from the fact that we live such busy lives. We have so many responsibilities and so little time. So we live in a constant state of anxiety, which makes it much harder to cope with curved balls because our inner resources are constantly drained to the dregs. I think, too, that we are constantly overthinking, trying desperately to protect ourselves from the things that could go wrong, until our minds are whirling so fast that we get caught up in a cycle of fear. The cycles of what if. So much so that we have no time to stop. No time to breathe. No time to gain a more balanced perspective. Busyness is regarded as the illness of the modern age. Dallas Willard once said that the only piece of advice he gives to anyone, to anyone who asks him, is to ruthlessly eliminate hurry. But that is very, very hard. Because we live in a society that wants everything done yesterday. And so we come to accept busyness and overthinking as the normal way of living. We come to accept high stress as a norm. In fact, if you live a life without stress, people will think you're lazy. And yet, and yet, there is another way. We can reduce the stress. We can reduce the sense of hurry we can find deeper peace and a greater richness of life. Strangely enough, when I talk to people about this and, and suggest that there is a way we can live differently, they become immediately resistant to any suggestion of change. And their response is, I just don't have the time. It's like a drowning man saying, because he is busy drowning, he has no time 
to reach out and take the rope that is thrown to rescue him. So what do we do? Well, what do you do when you are running on the treadmill and you get tired? You stop. You get off the treadmill. So we need to do the same. We need to stop and become present to life in the moment. And it doesn't have to be a long stop. But we do need to stop and to breathe. And there's a technique called the 3x3 three three technique. And all it is is to notice to stop. You've got to stop and notice three things. Name those three things and breathe. So I want you now in the room that you're in just to notice a thing, whatever it might be. Say its name and then breathe. Then notice another thing. Say its name and breathe. Notice another thing. Say its name and breathe. How do you feel now? That's all it takes. 30 seconds to clear your mind, still your heart rate and come in to the present moment. Another reason why becoming present is so important is because God can only be experienced in the present moment. And we are never present, so we fail to see him. We are always running to the future, tearing back to the past. And yet God is here in our lives, right here next to us, and we don't see him. Mindfulness is a tool we use to become present. It is an exercise of the mind which has a profound impact on the body, enlivening it and allowing us space to be present to God, allowing us space to be taught by God, to be led by God. Much of the reason why we have a sense of of, of longing for deeper spiritual life is because we don't have time. But mindfulness teaches us ways, techniques and skills that give us space and time even in the midst of a very busy life. I'm going to be running a course, an online course on mindfulness and I am going to leave at the end of this the details pertaining to that course. And if you would like to join, please would you let me know. May you have a blessed day.